Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stanislav Omnicom Company, and we're from Russia. Uh, by the way, what kind of association do you have when you hear Russia? Just some ideas. Huh? Matryoshka. What else? Vodka. <laughs> Putin. Balalaika. Bears. Many associations. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, today uh, I, want, I want to create some, some new uh, impression or association with Russia. This is fuel control, fuel consumption control. And before I start my uh, presentation, I want to tell you a short two-minute story. This is a story from my life. So last year uh, we had a business trip in uh, one uh, European country in Poland. And uh, this story was connected with uh, our... A uh, car for Mandio. Uh, we, we rent a car and we um, uh, traveled uh, along the Poland for two weeks, meeting with different integrators and selling our product. And uh, finally, we, we were very tired and we had just five or six hours to our plane back to Moscow and about 200 kilometers. So we drove a new highway, very good road. But suddenly, suddenly, we uh, uh, so-called, uh, we r ran out of gas because the road was new and there were no petrol station on the road. We just should go about three kilometers out of road, but we didn't know it. And so we stopped. We were very angry, wanted to go home. And so I began thinking what to do, what to do. And so I uh, saw some vehicles uh, working by the road, some trucks and some excavators, and I took 50 or a banknote, and I crushed to them because our Fort Mandeo was diesel, and I just wanted to try, try to find some five liters of diesel to get to, to the next petrol station. And I began to cry to the drivers, hey, guys, please, I, I can give you money. Please give me just three, four, five liters of diesel because our car is empty and we, we want to go home. Please help us. And so the drive, drivers made a circle around me, and so... The, and one of them made the first step, and he told, wow, mister, I cannot do that. I asked, why? Why? Just, just five liters. And he uh, uh, showed by his finger to the sky and to the fuel tank, and again to the sky, to the fuel tank, and he said, I cannot. GPS. GPS, mister. So I was so surprised. I was mm, really... This sense, um, and... I saw the sensor installed in the tank, fuel level sensor. And I was, uh, from one side, I was surprised, but this sensors, sensor killed me. But I was really proud of and happy because the system works in real life, and th this was the main thing that I was proud of. Uh, so I was happy. Uh, so, some words about our company. Uh, Omnicom is the largest developer and producer of fuel level sensors, as Bergenside says in uh, the previous report. We uh, are 16 years old and we have already sold more than half a million sensors. We have our own plant, we have factories, laboratories, R&D departments, training centers, and so on and so on. And we uh, deliver our sensors to more than 100 countries of the world at this moment. Uh, you, wanna, you may ask me, wh why, why do we sell our product? Because there are ma ma generally there are two main stimulating factors. The first factor is that the oil prices are uh, very high and uh, they, they are uh, growing every year. And the next factor is that we should control the drivers because drivers and operators are usually uh, still fuel. And if we are looking at, at the expenses pie of any transportation company, we may see that there are a lot of money uh, on the fuel. So companies spend a lot of money on fuel. And when I started working in Omnicom more than 10 years ago, I thought that it's just in Russia, Russian mentality, because drivers steal fuel. But after working in Omnicom, 
I understood that uh, there are many uh, countries all over the world and where these problems are really actual. In Asian countries, in Latin American countries. So you, you may see these pictures from real life, uh, even in the United States, even in a very highly developed economy, European countries. So the problem is really actual. So how we can cut the cost for fuel? This is the only one thing that we can do. We can use fuel control, fuel consumption control in any GPS system, in any monitoring system. Uh, ger generally, there are two types uh, of controlling uh, fuel. The first is uh, uh, consumption rates given by vehicle manufacturers or using by some companies, transportation companies, operating companies. And the second one is CAN bus. It's a very popular method. So uh, talking about uh, consumption rates, usually the consumption rates are um, inflated. And there are many different factors influencing uh, real consumption, like driver's behavior, like uh, weather, like the load, and so on and so on. And talking about CAN bus, uh, generally the information that uh, comes about fuel comes to CAN bus, it's, uh, it's it is taken from the original fuel level sensors in the tank. And this tank has, for example, some disadvantages like blind spot on the top of it. It might be 100 liters and sometimes much more than 100 liters. And this um, disadvantage influences the data, fuel data. And finally, we can trust this data because it's not really accurate. Uh, the system integrators buy our sensors because the accuracy is really good. It's a great accuracy, more than 99%. Uh, the sensors don't have any mechanical parts, any moving parts on it. We just install it once and forget about it. It just works for years. The installation itself is really simple, quick, and easy. And uh, no maintenance required on our sensors. You just install it, and it, I know sensors work in five years, seven years, ten years. Uh, it also has vandal proof. So uh, to destroy the system, the driver should um, just destroy the whole tank with the sensor. He can't do anything. Just destroy it. And I can give you examples, uh, some reasons why you, like uh, monitoring companies, like system integrators, should integrate fuel level sensors. So the first reason is available market uh, is, is moving to fuel control solutions, not just in Russia or not just in European countries, all over the world. It's very popular. Uh, for example, in Russia and in Europe, every second installation of MTM system, uh, of monitoring systems, comes together with fuel level sensors. So the penetration is about 50%. And in India, the demand for fuel uh, solution is growing every year, rapidly. And by integrating fuel control solutions in your system in your solutions, you get very good, very strong competitive advantage. And uh, it helps you to increase your sales. So a few words about integration. The integration itself is very simple. So you take GPS tracker, and you can use our digital one, digital sensor, or analog. It's up to you which one to choose. You just integrate it on a hardware level, and then you should create fuel level reports, fuel analytics in your software if you don't have it. And here, Omnicom, as a producer of our own software in Russia and our own GPS and GLONASS trackers, we can help you to create your fuel reports, fuel analytics, because we are really experienced in this sphere in Russia. We just share with you our experience for free. And that's it. So you have fuel analytics in your software. Uh, generally, there are four 
types of installation. You just drill the hole in the tank by our technology. Then you cut the sensor by the depth of the tank. It might be half a meter, one meter, up to six meters for the very big stationary objects. Then you put the sensor inside the tank and you calibrate the fuel tank. So you make a calibration table and put it in, a soft, in, in the software. Uh, very important thing, our sensor uh, doesn't interfere or doesn't influence any system of a vehicle, both electronic system or fuel system. It's very important for, for the warrant of the vehicle. We don't interfere. Uh, and talking about our cooperation with foreign partners, with different system integrators and producers of <laughs> any solutions, we help them in uh, different steps. So we train your technicians. Uh, we mm, train on each step of installation, your technicians. Uh, we advise tracking uh, device manufacturers on integration process to integrate our digital sensors. Uh, as I've already told, we help you to create software reports. Uh, we provide our active distributors, our partners, with uh, any advertising support. So we can share with you costs for some activities like exhibitions, conferences, and so on and so on. And um, uh, we provide our partners with favorable payment conditions after some period of cooperation together. So you work on our money. Uh, just a few words about our big projects, big names, big world companies. We work with Halliburton, it's a uh, United States company. Uh, we, uh, last year we realized a very interesting project together with American integrator Orbcom. And uh, of course you know the political situation these days are uh, not very good between the United States and Russia, but uh, for example last year we uh, delivered our sensors to United States Army, to Afghanistan trucks, big tanker trucks, and for us it, it was a very interesting project. So, we work with big logistic companies like UPS, DHL, we work with mining industry, it's a Hitachi group, our partner from Canada, Venka Mine, they have uh, very many representative offices all over the world. world. Uh, Galuli, Israel, uh, some European producers of vehicles, of cars, like Tatra in Czech Republic, like Lamborghini. Uh, before, I thought that Lamborghini is just luxury cars, but it's very good agricultural vehicles. Uh, we're proud of our cooperation with very famous Paris Dakar Kamas team. Uh, so, the 12 times the winner of Paris Dakar races, uh, all the uh, sportive trucks are equipped with our sensors. You may ask why, why do they need our sensors? They don't steal fuel from themselves. Yes, this is correct. But they need to control each liter of diesel in the tank. So the driver and the uh, uh, team navigator sees how much fuel is left in the tank and how much, many kilometers he can drive by this fuel. We work with uh, such a big world uh, aircraft company like Aeroflot. Uh, we, not, we do not install our sensors on planes, but we uh, install our sensors on uh, vehicles uh, working on the territory of airport. We've already started cooperation here in India. For example, a few years ago we uh, installed sensors on Tata trucks. So, uh, but uh, this year we uh, began to work more actively here. We're here for the first time with our, uh, we participate in this event and um, uh, I think in some months we will open the office here in India. It will be much more convenient for you to buy sensors to take, uh, to, to solve many different questions, both technical and commercial. And so uh, to conclude my uh, presentation, to con conclude my story, I, I want to tell you that we are really open for each of you, for every company from M2M sphere. Uh, we, we've taken the samples of sensors here. We can 
I give it to you, please go to our booth. Uh, so we will talk uh, about all the specific details. And um, to conclude my story, I want to give you, like, what is our sensors? Our sensors is like a, a thermometer for a doctor. It's a, it's a kind of thing that gives you information. And, uh, for example, for our final clients, it's very good information to cut their costs on fuel, to control the situation inside the company. But for system integrators, it's a very good thing to increase their sales. It's a very good and strong competitive advantage. And uh, it's, yeah, it's like a thermometer for, for a doctor. So it, it is a very good solution for, for everybody. And so we're here with a solution to share our experience and everything that we have with you. With you. Uh, let's be partners. And if you have some questions, I can answer them here on, or on our booth. You're always welcome. Thank you.